Hey everybody, it's Max here for another interesting tutorial. This is the sixth episode of the MFilms 2000 Film School, I think. So today I have been requested to make a kind of sliding doors opening style, kind of sliding doors transition. So you can, in Final Cut Pro and various editing softwares, you can have that. It's just two bars opening that look like this. However, I played around with this for a while to try to make it absolutely as customizable as I possibly could. So, what your final effect will look like will be this. And you can time those so that they end at the right time. I just quickly whipped this up. However, you can have them go any direction, any speed, in any way that you want. You can have the bars be any color. They could even be images if you want. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Composition, New Composition. Sorry, it opened to my second monitor. Then you're going to type, I'm going to title this Sliding Doors. Have it just be 10 seconds long, because that's just, that's my average time. Okay, so first what you're going to have to do is drag your media in. I just have an image of a forest, because, I mean, it was a pretty sweet forest image. But this could be a video, this could be another image, this could be anything you want. Okay, then what you're going to do, you're going to go Layer, New, Solid. And then just have it be uh, black in color or any color that you want and title it anything you want. I'm just going to leave it black solid. Then go composite uh, Layer, New, Solid again. And just title it whatever you want. So right now what you can see is that you can move these around. And that's what got me thinking. So what you're just going to do is just make it larger and make this one larger. And then try to position them in the center as in the center as you can so that they're just right there. So now you're going to go to the effect controls of the if one of the black solids. And then you're going to go down here. Click on this little arrow here. Click on transform, and then the position on the left here. That's what moves it left and right. Now I bet you can see where I'm going with this. So you're going to take that, and you're just going to add a keyframe at the very beginning, and leave that there. Then go to whoever, however much you want it. I'm just going to go to two seconds, and it will automatically make another keyframe. And then just make it, you can just keep dragging it so that it just gets out of the screen. So now you have one door that slides open like that. And you can have it slide up, down, any way that you want. So then you're going to go to the second door and do the exact same thing. Open that up, transform. However, so on the position, keep it there. However, what you're going to have to do is make this one go right instead. Well, there you have it. There are your sliding doors. And one of the people who watched my videos wanted me to make this, so now there you go, and I hope this is perfect for you. But the thing that's really interesting is that you can also have them go up. Say you wanted it to start up. I mean, it'll even go down if you want. Like that, that looks pretty cool. You can just play around with whatever you want. You could have it go like way over there and down and then like anything you really want it to do you can just mess around with that so I guys I hope you found this tutorial useful it shows how to create these sliding doors and I hope this helped you in your future videos and if you like this video please subscribe and I will see you in my next tutorial